First of all, I want to apologize for the focus or the lack thereof. The light is, as you can see, reflecting off so much of this outer sheet that the camera is having a hard time locking on. But in case you're doubting me, there's the brand right there. It's actually called Fiddy. I hope that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm going to call it for now. And it costs fifty dollars. Yes, the jokes are not going to end. The box is relatively recyclable for the most part. We'll find out on the inside. But yeah, and there's actually also two versions I found. I think for ten or twenty dollars more, you get another version that's a hybrid driver, that is a regular driver and a balance armature. This is their dynamic base version. I wish I had both to compare, but it is what it is. So let's pop this open. It has Bluetooth 5.2, active noise cancellation, and IPX7 right there. So yeah, um, that's not bad to start for fifty dollars. That's a pretty darn good deal in my opinion. Uh, and I hope they, these sound really good, or, or at least uh, as how wow, that's not bad at all i like the outer is this their logo that's pretty cool this is my first fitty model so <laughs> fitty just can't get over it um the case as you can see is nice it's shiny plastics but it looks metal this thing the way they carved it or the way they molded it it is pretty nice pardon the weird transition guys i'm having a buttload of camera issues i hope that squared away but anyways, on the back here, we have this chrome, you know, highlight right there. It's not very convincing. It looks cheap and also like it's just a layer, but we'll find out later on as time goes on. At the bottom, we have USB-C charging, no wireless charging, and it sits on the bottom like this. So that's not bad or the back right here. And I really like this logo. It's not bad. The plastics are different. As you can tell, there's this really more uh, shiny plastics versus or cheaper looking plastic versus this one. This has a more metallic feel to it. But in either case, they attract the uh, fingerprints and grease quite easily and possibly also scratches, but time will only tell. There are three LEDs right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's pop open the lid. Wow, the magnet is strong. Wow, check that out. It's uh, quite floppy too once the lid is open. Very typical of Mifo. I'm not sure why they do that. I wish they make it locking somehow. Uh, but let's pull out the earbuds. The cavity, pretty decent to clean because the uh, the stems are nice and short as you can see right there. So they you won't have a hard time cleaning these if especially the contacts get dirty at the bottom there. Just stick a Q-tip in there and just clean it out. Shiny plastics on the inside, but the molding is pretty nice, really nice. And there is a QR code. Not sure what that's for. There's no app for this, so I don't think, I don't know what, what that's there for. There's also some kind of, I'm not sure if you can see that down in the bottom of the contact points, there's some kind of slit. Um, maybe it's to drain water or something. Yeah, <laughs> maybe Mifo can confirm this for me. But anyways, uh, let's peel off also the protective coat right here. I'm all, I'm all butterfingers anyway, so we'll see how this goes. It's nice that they protect the outside of it too, which also tells me it might scratch easily. You see this? I'm probably gonna transition to where I'm done. <laughs> uh, wow, these are nice. They're really, really uh, compact and small, as you can see, I really like them. And that LED light is very nice. It's not too bright and it's discreet enough. The ear tips are very similar to all the other brands. My guess it's going to be decent. It's comfortable and not the fastest to put on, but uh, yeah, sure enough, it's okay. It seems to always get stuck in one of the lip there. Okay, so that's that's. I'm gonna keep that off. These things are pretty comfortable. The ear tips and it's protected by a mesh cover right there, a grill to keep gunk out. Uh, touch controls, as far as I remember, is single, double, triple tap as well as five taps to turn on low latency mode or gaming mode. Um, and then there's some other command. Oh yeah, I think it's uh, double or triple tap to switch between active noise cancellation, strong, mid, uh, low, as well as transparency on. And I think you have to do that without media on. So we'll find out in a second too. These also have six hours of battery life, theoretically with ANC on, but we'll find out once I do my full test. And altogether, you supposedly also get 36 hours with the case. Um, the buds are light. They're four grams each, which is really nice and light, guys, and have Bluetooth 5.2 with AAC and SBC only. Um, and they, as I mentioned before, IPX7 water resistance. That's for the earbuds, not for the case, of course. So you can take these in a the shower, no problem. Although I'm not sure why you want to. So this might sound weird. I had to take a whiff of the earbud because when I opened this whole thing up, I smelled Chinese medicine. So maybe at some point someone on the production line had medicine on them or something and it 
caught onto this or maybe it's made in the same factory as Chinese medicine. We'll never know. Uh, but we're here to check out the different ports. Earlier we saw the LED on this little slit right there and down here is one of the microphones for phone calls and these little chrome things or metal looking things are uh, the charging contacts. They add a nice design element to the stem even though the charging contacts I've never seen this kind of you know uh, design or you know thought process behind it. There's another mic right there. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera and otherwise this thing is pretty plain. Oh I want to show you this. The casing on the inside is actually translucent. You see that? You can see the driver setup or the battery and such like that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, that's about it. The uh, Mifo, I think there might be more mics at the top here above the Mifo branding. I can't be sure. Um, so the touchpad is right there on the flat surface. I really like the design. It's shiny plastics too. Um, I'm guessing it will also show a lot of scratches, but these I can expect to be really comfortable. Let's see what else is inside the box, by the way. This is all foam. Um, that's a smiley face right there. I'm not sure you can see that too. Nothing else. I'm guessing we have documentation, of course, and then more. Let's see how many sizes have we got. Uh, there is medium and small, uh, large and small. So yeah, three sizes altogether. Anything else in the okay box? Nope, that's it. That's all gonna go into recycling. I'm gonna pair this up with my phone and really wanna test out the noise canceling and sound quality. Come on, focus. You're there, there you go. So let's move on to the next section. Now the first thing I wanna look at is pretty simple. How fast this thing can pair to your phone. These things don't have Google Fast Pair as far as I know. So we're gonna have to do this uh, old school Bluetooth connection style. And as you can see right here, I have my screen recording so you can see everything that I'm doing, you know, just to help out. Um, first of all, comfort. Oh, the fit. Ooh, I, they're nice. Mifo has been on a ball lately with all how they fit in the ears. Man, these things are the exterior weight versus the in, interior as well. They're so balanced. Wow, I have to test these for a longer period of time for sure, but just first impressions. Oh, I like the comfort. Um, now let's pair this thing, pair new device. Yeah, it's not Google Fast Pair, nothing popped up at all. And I hope these have batteries. There, there you go, Fitty. What kind of name is that? Who, who came up with that one? <laughs> but at least it's memorable, isn't it? Let's pair, allow, pair. Wow, that's fast. You, did you just see that? That's like a, like half a second. AAC we're connected to. So I'm gonna test a song right now. Look at this, Buffalo Stands by Nene Cherry. Yes. I love me my Nene Cherry. I know it sounds weird. Okay, sound quality. Oh, one thing I wanna test before we go on. Um, I made a mistake just now saying that there is a, another, for the tap controls, you had to tap it three times or whatever to when it's off, uh, to switch between uh, noise cancellation, transparency. Actually, it's hold with media off. I wish you can do this on the fly like you're listening to music, but you know, since you don't have an app, you can't customize much. Okay, I'm gonna test this. Hold it down. Transparency mode. The seal is good, not bad at all. Let's switch. Strong noise cancellation. Eh. Come on. Okay, so it's okay. Mild. I have traffic passing through right now, it's rush hour, so it's a great time to test. Of course, during my full review, I'm gonna take these earbuds outside to fully, you know, test it on and off, and uh, I'll give you my final uh, thoughts on it, of course, as always. Let's go back to strong noise cancelling. Uh, yeah, Mifo has some work to do with the active noise cancellation department. There's no off, it just goes, it cycles between transparency and strong and mild uh, active noise cancellation. I wish there was an off. Um, so I can see what the baseline is as it is. But yeah, the transparency mode is also, does it even work? Okay, let me go back to it again. So the, in terms of how natural it sounds, it's not bad. It, it doesn't like pipe in sounds uh, as strong as others. And at least it's not art artificial and digital either. So there's that. All right. I digress. I probably will cut some of that out because um, that takes a lot of time. We have Nanny Cherry again. Let's play some music. Okay, there's no not much bass in transparency. It's really mild. Oh, uh, less funky. Oh, uh, okay. Tambourines. Let's go to strong noise cancellation. 
a little bit more bass. There's a little bit more. This is not for bass heads, guys. I'm not sure what Mifo were saying that this is the dynamic bass version. All right, I want to move on to a bassier song like TLC's No Scrub. They have this little nice bass in the beginning when it dips. Thump. No scrubs, you know, that part. Let's crank it up a little bit more. 70%. Ooh. It hits right here, guys. Thump. Nice. Oh yes. This lock this 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 rocks it guys. Let me crank it up to 80 and see. If there's anything I wish these had to was slightly more amplification for those of you who like your sound a little bit louder, you have you know not as good hearing or something. These need a little bit more power, I think. But you know, as it is for most listeners, I think it'll be perfectly fine. Ooh. The sound profile is scooped, that's for sure, there's a V profile and more of the technical side. You hear a lot more of the voices. The Let me turn this down a little bit. I can't even hear myself talk or probably talking louder than I should. Um, but I do like that these, you can hear the voices nice and clear. Uh, the instruments, let's move on to another one where it's more traditional. Let's move on to try to find some rock. La, 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 la. Under Pressure, yes, by Queen. One thing I want to check too. Mild. Okay, the bass drops a little bit in mild uh, noise cancelling transparency. I love the lady's voice on this too. Yeah, yeah, the bass definitely disappears in transparency. Strong is your favorite, your best bet for best sound quality. If you like bass, I think the transparency is a little bit more neutral among all three. Not that this is set up neutral anyway. One thing I want to test is the touch controls, single tap, volume, okay. double tap, pause, play, and then triple tap is forward, I think. One thing I do like is these are pretty sensitive to touch controls and they have this nice little feedback tone for everything. Everything you do has some kind of feedback, which I really like. Some uh, yearbook make, yearbook makers and headphone makers have tones for some and are silent and others. It's just kind of, you know, inconsistent, obviously. Oh, yeah, I wish I had be, been able to test the uh, dual driver hybrid setup model. That's $10, $20 more. I would have liked to compare it because this doesn't have the authority uh, on that a uh, balanced amateur would provide for the high end, especially, or the mids and the highs. Like here, where they have the kick drum on uh, under pressure, you can feel it, thump, 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 but there's not much detail. But for $50, guys, $50, these are good. So controls, I really like it. Comfort, I've been wearing this for a while now, no pressure whatsoever. Man, I can take this working out no problem at all either. And the sound quality, very, very good. Well, good. I, would, I don't want to get your hopes up too much. I would say it's good. Uh, above average to good uh, for $50. I'm Nothing to complain about here. The fit is good. The design is very unique too. So, uh, well done, Mifo. Um, let me turn this off again. I can't hear myself talk. What else have we done? Controls are good. Active noise cancellation, yeah. That, if that's one weakness, I think that's it. It's not the best. It does its job. It did kind of kill out some of the lower rumbles, but it's not very uh, effective overall compared to some other buds out there like sound boards and such and one more. But for some of them, you pay quite a bit more for that kind of bump in performance. Um, the weight is nice and light. I love, yeah, I just love the design. Mifos are just awesome in that department and the fit, whatever they do within the ears. I have to test the microphones on these as we normally do too in my long, long term test uh, to see how they sound for phone calls. My guess it's going to be okay also, just like the active noise cancellation. All right, I think it is time to end right now because these are really basic $50. There's not much to talk about. We've already looked at sound, the fit, the controls. And these, I would say, even though the bass is not like top dollar low kind of thing, but these will make really good workout earbuds. I'd say the fit is amazing. IPX7, you can shower with these, sweat in these, definitely. Man, I have no pressure points whatsoever. This entire time wearing these, wow, I, I am impressed. They are very similar to the Mifo S, very light in the ear. 
I wish there was an app though. Uh, Mifo is at this point in maturity as a company, I think they should start including uh, apps for their products. So Mifo, if you're listening, get to it. Um, yeah, I personally will have liked to be able to have uh, over the air fixes for bugs and having improvements and additional feature ads and such like that. Playing, be able to play with the EQ and also customize my controls in some form or another. Uh, battery life, we'll have to test it out for its size. I think five, six hours with ANC on. They say it's six. My guess is probably like 4.8, 4 four and a half hours with ANC on. And it, that it, in and of itself is not bad at all because of the size. Um, what else? Yeah, these, I would say these are great workout earbuds, guys. $50, you really can't go wrong. But, you know, we'll wait for the, uh, I'll link it down below in case you're interested, but we'll have to wait. If you want to wait for my full review to really get uh, my full full on real impressions on these things or my thoughts on it. So thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate y'all uh, always coming back for more. Um, check out my other playlists. If you want to look at more unboxings, my other reviews, feel free to remember to support this channel. Thumbs up if you like this video, comment nicely down below. Subscribe, share this with your friends. I really would appreciate it. Visit me on my Patreon page too if you'd like to financially support me somehow, yes. Uh, and also remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what guys, the world needs it more than ever and it starts with you. I love y'all very much. I hope to see y'all the next time. Peace out and God bless.